Hola clase y bienvenidos otra vez. Hoy vamos a hablar sobre el pretérito. De hecho, vamos a hablar sobre unos cambios de raíz en el pretérito. So today, our topic is stem changing verbs in the preterite. Okay, before we start talking about the preterite, let's review stem changes in the present tense. Like we learned in Spanish 1, in the present tense, stem changes occur in the boot. So let's take, for example, the verb dormir. Dormir is a stem changing verb, O to UE. So that means the O is going to change to UE in the boot. Let's take a look at its conjugation. Here we have duermo, duermes, duerme, dormimos, dormis, y duermen. Let's double check. Did our O go to UE inside the boot? And if you look here, it did. Okay? Outside our boot, our O does not change to UE. Okay, so let's change topics here and talk about stem changes in the preterite. In the preterite, only your IR stem changing verbs are going to have a stem change. Okay? And in fact, these IR verbs are only going to have a one letter change in the sole of the boot. So again, let's look at the verb dormir. All right, it's an IR verb, so it will have ER, IR preterite endings, e, iste, io, imos, ieron. Okay, and it's going to have a one letter change. To help you remember that, I'm going to code our stem changing verbs, stem changing verbs like this. Okay, the O goes to UE in the present tense. Okay, so this first, what you see, first part is going to be for present tense. And then it's going to go O to U in the preterite tense, which is what you see here after the comma. Okay, so let's look at dormir's conjugation. We have dormi, dormiste. Dormio, dormimos, dormistes, y dormieron. Let's double check. Did our O go to you in just the sole of the boot? Okay, and it did. Just a one letter change. Okay, so on your note guide, please make sure that you have written down the correct conjugation for dormir noting it's one letter change in the sole of the boot. Now let's move on to section three of your note guide. Obviously this rule about stem changes applies to all IR stem changing verbs in the Spanish language. However in this unit we are just going to focus on the seven verbs you see in section three of your note guide. These verbs are pedir, to ask for, or to order, servir, to serve, vestirse, to get dressed, competir, to compete, seguir, to follow, and preferir, to prefer. You'll notice I did code them just like I did with dormir, showing you that the first letter is for present tense and the second letter is for your preterite stem change. Okay, now let's look at a few more verbs from your list in section three. The first verb I want to look at is the verb pedir. Pedir means to ask for or to order, and you'll notice that it's an E to I stem changing verb. Here's its conjugation. We have pedí, pediste, pidió, pedimos, pedistes, pidieron. You'll notice again that the stem change only occurs here in the sole of the boot. For our next example, let's do the verb vestirse. Vestirse is an E to I stem changing verb that means to get dressed. The only thing that's a little bit tricky about vestirse is that it is a reflexive verb. Like we talked about in Unit 2, 
when conjugating reflexive verbs, you first need to take your say off, move it to the front, and make it match the subject. You can go ahead and do that in your example box, section four of your note guide. Remember the pronoun will go, me, te, se, nos, os, se. From there, just conjugate vestir as a normal IR verb. Let's take a look at its conjugation. We have here, me vesti, te vestiste, se vistió, nos vestimos, os vestistes, se vistieron. Again, you'll notice just a stem change here in the sole of the boot. All right, so to recap for today, what did we learn about stem changes in the preterite? Only your IR stem changing verbs are gonna have a stem change, and it's only gonna be a one letter change that occurs in the sole of the boot. Other than that, these stem changing verbs are 100% normal in conjugation. Let's do a few practice exercises. Here you see six example sentences. Please go ahead and push pause. Take a minute to conjugate all six of these in the preterite tense. For example, on number one, you would be saying, I ordered soup. All right, let's check our answers. Yo pedí sopa. Número dos, nosotros competimos ayer. Tres, tú te vestiste esta mañana. Cuatro, Juan sirvió la comida. Cinco, ellos durmieron mucho. Y seis, ella siguió las direcciones. You'll notice that only numbers four, five, and six had the stem change. Why? Because we were in the sole of the boot for these three examples. Okay, if you have any additional questions, please see the notes provided in your textbook on page 178. I hope you have a great day. Hasta mañana.